Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint, and it's safe to say the true wireless earbuds market has really taken off over the last few years. Now undoubtedly the most popular ones are the ones with Apple's branding on them, but there are others to consider. Now one of the latest pairs from Samsung is called the Galaxy Buds Plus. So we wanted to show you the differences between these and the AirPods Pro to help you decide which one's going to be the best for you based on your own personal preferences. Now already at the design stage there might be something here that makes you choose one over the other. Samsung's Galaxy Buds are this neat little rounded triangle shape, but have subtle built-in fins to help keep them in your ears securely, plus the silicon tip to create a seal within your ear to help cut out some noise from outside. If you're after a pair that stays in while you're running or working out, this is going to be the best bet of the two pairs. But what I found is that the design of these tips isn't quite comfortable enough to wear for long periods. It does tend to get a little bit sensitive inside the ears. Apple's AirPods Pro also have that silicon tip in their ear, but they don't have the fins to help keep them in. So they're not really for working out in. With that said though, we didn't find that either of the two pairs fell out of our ears during everyday listening while commuting or walking anywhere. AirPods are light enough that they sit really well balanced in the ear and they don't fall out. Moving on to the charging cases, and of course both come with one. And despite being different shapes and sizes, they're both neat and portable and made from glossy plastic. Now the AirPods case charges using either a lightning cable, which is the same as what's on your iPhone, or a wireless charger. Samsung's uses a Type-C cable, again, what comes with your smartphone, or again, you can use wireless charging. It's built in as standard. When it comes to sound and noise cancelling, there's a lot to consider here. AirPods Pro is by far the best pair for noise cancelling, because once they're in your ears, it's almost as if they close you in in a noiseless bubble, even when they're not playing music. They're great for ensuring you can hear your music as intended when on busy trains or on a plane. And it's adaptive noise cancelling, so it's constantly monitoring and analysing external noise and then adjusting the noise cancelling to match. And adjusting the sound to make sure you get the best sound possible in that particular instance. It also has an internal mic to detect any leakage and then adjusts the sound to compensate. So Samsung Galaxy Buds don't have active noise cancelling, but what they do have is pretty decent passive noise cancelling. They do create a decent seal in your ear, so if you're walking next to a busy road, you're not going to get inundated with traffic noise. Now what they do perhaps better than the AirPods Pro is the ambient mode. This lets you choose how much external noise you want to let in using microphones that are built into the exterior of the earbuds. So you can actually choose the level you want, whether it's low, medium or high. Now AirPods do have a transparency mode, which you can select using the volume control widget on your iPhone. And this is pretty good if you just want to hear an announcement at a train platform or an airport gate. So you can still hear the important things that you need to hear before going back into noise cancelling again. As for sound quality overall, we liked Samsung's approach of using the app to adjust the sound. If you set the profile to normal, the Samsung seems a bit more bassy and full than the AirPods, and then you can change it to be more treble heavy or even more bass or make it clearer if you want to. But the AirPods Pro do sound good. In fact, we would argue that they're better sounding than the Samsung ones. You get a bit less bass overall, but it's better controlled, and the sound overall seems a bit clearer with tighter treble. Samsung's in comparison sounds a bit tinnier, slightly harsher, with slightly boomy bass. Overall, it's not quite as well controlled. It's not that it's bad at all, we just didn't particularly enjoy it more than the AirPods Pro. Of course, that's personal preference. You might find that you like the Samsungs more. Now looking at the ever important battery life and when it comes to pure out of the case longevity, there is only one winner here, Galaxy Buds Plus. You can play music constantly for up to 11 hours. In our testing, we would say somewhere between nine and 10 hours in one long stretch. That is a lot of music playback before you then need to put them back in the case to refill them. But then the case only has one more extra charge. So overall, you get a maximum of about 22 hours of playback. Now the AirPods Pro max out at four and a half hours in one stretch with 24 in total, including the case. So overall, the listening time, including the battery case is similar for both of them. But if you regularly need to go over four or five hours listening to music, whether it's a really long train ride or a long plane flight, and you just want to listen to music the entire time, the Samsungs are going to be the pair that lasts the longest in one continuous stretch. And then we come to convenience, controls, and features. Now, if you're an Apple user, there's added convenience to using AirPods. The H1 chip inside means that once it's paired with one of your Apple devices, it's paired with all of them, whether that be your Apple Watch, your iPad, your Mac, or your iPhone. Now, of course, you can pair AirPods with Android phones too. 
it's just not as convenient as with an iPhone. We've made a video showing you how to do that, so you can check that out as well. Now, one of the other benefits of AirPods, however, is that you can take them out of your ears and it will pause the music instantly as soon as you do that. Now, Samsung's don't seem to do that at all. In our testing, they just kept playing in both earbuds, whether you just kept one in or took both out, regardless of which side you removed from your ears. With the AirPods, you can take one out and still have the audio from a call or your music in the one ear with the other one completely inactive and charging in the case. Now, Samsung's app gives you a bit more control over the earphones features. So you can set the sound profile, see the battery level, choose your ambient noise, and use it to find your earphones when lost. So that is something to consider as well. Now on the whole, it may come down to price for you. The Galaxy Buds Plus are £159, and that includes the wireless charging case as standard. Now the AirPods Pro may be the most convenient, have the best noise cancelling and the more advanced wireless technology in them, but they cost £249, so there's quite a big price difference between these two earphones. But overall, if you're in the Apple ecosystem and want that advanced noise cancelling and convenience, or even if you're not and just want a good pair of noise cancelling in-ears, that extra price might be worth it for you. If you just want a solid pair of earbuds to listen to music with that will last for ages on a single charge, the Galaxy Buds Plus might fit you just fine. Let me know what you think of these two earphones in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter and all the other important social media networks. I'll see you again soon.